welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another news update. Now, I know these are nothing new, we have seen these uh, many times leading up to this moment. I even got to check these out when I was in New York for Toy Fair 2023, and for the most part, if what they had on display ends up being exactly what is in the box, the paint apps definitely look good. I don't know about the scaling, <laughs> remains to be seen, sure, but uh, regardless, we got some new DC Multiverse McFarlane Toys figures to check out, specifically dealing with... <laughs> Batman and Robin. The good old Joel Schumacher film, right? Everybody loved this film, and I'm sure that we still all love it to this day. And in all seriousness, it's grown on me. It's so bad that it's great, right? I'm a huge fan of Batman Forever. That is probably one of my, let's say, well, Mask of the Phantasm and then Batman Forever as far as uh, Batman films go. But... Batman and Robin. We got action figures coming. So now everyone can pretend that they absolutely love this movie, right? <laughs> Just messing with you guys. But before we jump into things, we can go ahead and say that there's some affiliate links down in the description below. So if you want to pre-order anything that you see during the course of this video, well, they're all waiting for you now. So you can see all of them scaled up and whatnot. So for the most part, I think they might work. We'll see what happens, right? They should be uh, uh, shipping out hopefully by the end of the year as well. So, let's kick it off with figure number one, Alicia Silverstone. Bad girl. Looks pretty good. See, that's that's the nice thing about these figures, to be quite honest with you. The sculpts look great. Now, these are mostly digitals and then paint masters and whatnot. But, again, if they come out looking as good as what I saw at Toy Fair... People should be pretty stoked. I think that's an excellent head portrait for Alicia Silverstone. And again, as much as I can't say that I'm like, oh man, I, I just hope that these are the best thing ever. Again, the movie has grown on me. I think the figures look pretty darn good. I wish that they had cloth capes, to be honest with you. I know a lot of people out there, they go back and forth. Oh, I like plastic. Oh, I like cloth. I prefer the more cloth cape. I think that that just looks more fun. And Alicia Silverstone as Batgirl largely is going to be all in black with the blonde hair. I think that that's a nice match, right? A little bit of light, a little bit of dark, and that is a pretty stellar looking Batgirl if you ask me. Now, she comes with a bunch of accessories. Freeze's freeze gun, if you haven't guessed by now. It's a Mr. Freeze collect-a-build wave. You get the shoulder pads, you get the Arnold Schwarzenegger head portraits, and then you get the Freezy Blast, right? So you get Batgirl, and then a bunch of parts from Mr. Freeze. I do wish that they would given her maybe some extra hands, something like that, so she could hold stuff, right? Maybe like a battering. Little things like that. They go a long way. But here she is all packaged up, ready to go. Number one, Batgirl, Alicia Silverstone from Batman and Robin. So again, only four figures necessary to build the Arnold Schwarzenegger Mr. Freeze. <laughs> Love how in 2023, there is a package of Mr. Freeze Arnold Schwarzenegger photo front center, right? That's, <laughs> that's amazing. So as always, if you likes what you see with this Batgirl, you could go ahead and pre-order her now. Moving on, we have Uma Thurman as Poison Ivy. And from watching this back in the day and, and loving Batman the Animated Series with what Diane Pershing did with the voice of Poison Ivy and then seeing Uma Thurman, I just, as a kid, I loathe this movie. <laughs> it was meant for people like me, right? Kids like me. But I just looked at this and I was like, no, what? Even then, I was like, what the heck is this? But like I said... It's, it's nostalgic. It's grown on me. And this is a pretty darn good looking Uma Thurman Poison Ivy figure. I like the paint that they got going on. Greens, reds, really pops, really stands out. They've nailed the color scheme. Light screens to dark screens. You have the whole uh, Poison Ivy headdress around her eyes and whatever else that was, right? But I think, again, she looks pretty darn cool. So I'm excited to see how these figures truly end up being right in hand and then she comes with 
the body of Mr. Freeze and a trading card and the stand and whatnot. So this would have been, right, the perfect figure to give vines and ivy and maybe a big chomping Venus flytrap, right? <laughs> Some vials, eh? So she could, I don't know, poison Dr. Woodrow, right? Who also played the Riddler, Edward Nigma, right? In Batman the Animated Series. Good old John Glover. A little factoid while you're watching your toy news for this Wednesday. There you go. Number two, Poison Ivy. Ready to go. And again, as always, if you like her, you can pre-order her now. But we have the boy Blunder. We have Chris O'Donnell as Robin. This one is... Just in how it's displayed, how it's posed, and all these solicitation photos, he looks pretty darn cool. That is a great-looking Chris O'Donnell head portrait. You have the more Nightwing Robin costume going, red on black. There is a lot of black costumes in this, right? Batgirl, Robin, Batman. They're all less colorful. The villains, oddly enough, for the more colorful aspect. Even Bane, right? Perhaps we will see... Bane later on, depending on how these roll. Again, not saying I absolutely want a Bane figure from Batman and Robin, but you got it going already. Why not, uh, why not do a Bane figure, right? And what's actually kind of cool with this Robin figure is that he comes with several accessories that reflect what happens in the actual movie, which I can appreciate right there. So he gets ice effects, which then go over his arms and... And his legs. Now, in the movie, he gets full-on frozen. Remember, he has a deep thaw, and Batman has that laser. <laughs> yeah, go figure on that one. Chris O'Donnell Robin comes with the freeze effects. He comes with Mr. Freeze's arms, and then no extra hands, nothing like that. See, again, that would have been fun to have extra hands, at least hands that can hold batterings. I got a drawer full of batterings at this point. That would have been kind of cool, even to give us the movie batarangs and the zip lines and the next extra head portrait where he's snarling at Batman because he shut down his uh, his his ride. Remember that when they're going after? Anyways, that movie <laughs> is something else. But here he is, Chris O'Donnell, Robin, all packaged up, ready to go. If you like Robin, you can grab him now. Even though it's supposed to be Nightwing, right? We can all. Agree on that. To round out the four-figure wave, of course, we have George Clooney as Batman. And if you saw the most recent Flashpoint movie, <laughs> he came back. <laughs> that was wild. He wasn't doing an espresso commercial. It was an actual Batman cameo. Go figure, right? So, Batman looks pretty good, I have to say. Now, I have yet to get my Batman 70 pack, right? That hasn't come in, so I'm looking forward. Maybe this will come in before that. He, too, comes with some ice effects for his hands, right? When they're up in that rocket silo, whatever the heck that was, and he gets frozen to the wall, and you can totally tell that it's not even ice, right? It's like a plexiglass plastic. But he doesn't have... Uh, a free-flowing cloth cape. I would have preferred that, but he has the plastic cape. Looks good overall. Again, a lot of blacks. I'm more concerned with, does it look like George Clooney? And I'm going to say, yeah, for the most part, I think that that is uh, definitely a George Clooney Batman. Now, Clooney comes with the legs of the collectibild Mr. Freeze, and then he also has, of course, the ice effects, the trading card, the stand, Yada yada, here he is all boxed up. He doesn't come with the Batman credit card though, right? He says he never leaves home without it. Looks like uh, that's not the case, right? Remember the... <laughs> I remember watching that as a kid and he pulled that out and I was like, what the heck is it? It wasn't even like, oh, that's, that's pretty funny, of course. Nowadays though, it's hilarious. And I love, especially when you see the ice effects... Right in the beginning with all the cop cars and everything. And the guy, he opens up the cop car and the ice like swivels. <laughs> See, it's stuff like that where you look back and you have a, a good laugh. But anyways, the collectibild figure, if you haven't guessed it by now or maybe you skipped through this video, is Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze. And he looks pretty darn good. Is that Arnold Schwarzenegger? From what I saw at Toy Fair, I would say that it's more spot on than not spot on. We'll just say it's kind of like an in-between. I kind of want to see it uh, more in hand. So it looks pretty good. And I'm really stoked that they gave him the ice gun. Perhaps Warner Brothers is kind of changing their tune when it comes to ice guns or just guns in general, right? Come on. These are 
These aren't for kiddos anymore. These are for adult collectors. Let's get some adult things a going here. We're not children. Well, I shouldn't say that. But you get the idea, right? We're all a little nuts. And just to show you again, here's all five characters. I would say again, the height discrepancies might be off. It kind of remains to be seen once you have them in hand. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. But again... From Batgirl to Robin to Batman, Poison Ivy, Mr. Freeze. I mean, they're all there. The only ones that are missing is Bane and maybe Woodrow, right? Who cares? <laughs> Let's see how these do first. So, that'll wrap it up for my quick look at the upcoming Batman and Robin wave from McFarlane Toys. Most likely, we will see these in January. You might see these pop up sometime December, maybe towards the end of December. Just kind of remains to be seen. What with sales, right? Holiday sales and putting stuff out early. You get the idea. You might see them trickle out. So perhaps we will have them in hand for December 25th. But in the meantime, if you're interested in grabbing any of these, again, affiliate links down below. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most important, remember, now Batman and Robin aside, Batman, Batman Returns, all of that over there, you got to give me my Batman forever. And maybe we will see those in 2024. Fingers crossed. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.